in this video we will be reproducing the figure at the right hand side of the screen now what you first of all do since it's involving the circle i would advise you pick your um rule or your t-square right and you draw a line horizontal line this way you draw the long short long short in form of a center line you can see that then you take your t square and your c square you get the center of that point right and from here this is what we have Do the same thing long short long short because it's a center line why why is the center line a circle is symmetrical This is what we have here. So this is the center where they meet. Now, if you look at the diameter of the circle, it's given to be 90, meaning the radius will be what 45. So I'm going to take my meter rule and I'll measure half of 90, which is 45. I'll place it this way. Zero to here. This is 45. That is 45 here. Let me make you see very well. It's 45 here, right? And I'll place it at this point here. Now I'll draw my circle, which I will take in in this manner. You can see that. Now the next thing I am going to do here is to take my 45 degrees set square and place it on my T square. Or before that, I'll take my meter rule and I'm going to connect each of these points. Because this point, I'll connect this. If you look at our diagram, from here to here is a visible line. And again, another visible line from here to here. And again, another visible line from here to here. And again, another visible line from this point to this point. You can see that? Now the next thing we'll do is to use a 45 degree. If you look at the angle between this point and this point is what? Give me to be 45. So if I place it, which refers to the center, if I place it like this, so the angle between here to here, I will just draw uh, a center line also like this long shot long shot passing through the center you can see that i'll move it again to this direction from the center a long one shot long shot long shot long shot and this All right now i've gotten those points so this point if you look at it is from the diagram this point is that point you're seeing and they are connected using hidden line short dashes so I'll move it from here this 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 just like that I'll go here too the to touch here also connect this to this so it will be this this And also the same thing here too. And here too. You can see that? Now I will not take uh, my triangle from this point. Of the 45 degree i'll place it like this and i'll draw a thick line touching from this point straight down here and from here also the same thing from this point also straight down here i'm going to do it for every of these points this point also i'll do the same thing from here i'll move it straight down here from here also i'll move it down here right 
I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing from this point. I'm going to move it straight down here, then here, straight down here. Then the last one of the list from here, I'll move it here. From here to this point, and from here to this point. So we we'll successfully reproduce that. Then we'll do our dimensioning. So from this point, center here, take my compass to any point here. I'll draw an arc like this. So at the end of that arc, I'll be drawing my 45 degree. So this is 45 degree and this is also 45 degree. And then make the diameter of this here, you can just put it this way, it's given to be what? This is diameter of what? 90. Right? So we have uh, reproduced the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.